through genetics, through the conditioning of the organism by its environment, all of which is happening through countless um, influences mm -hmm. and is constantly happening, constantly changing. That is what's doing everything. But it's this false sense of authorship which is claiming that doing. Yeah. And this is what this teaching is, is pointing at. And when that is seen? When that is seen, it is the first step in the weakening of the claim. First, it has to be seen that there's a claim there at all. Mm -hmm. Then, as it is exposed for the imposter that it is, its, its power to claim is reduced. Yeah. And that process is one that uh, is, is quite mystical, quite magical in mm -hmm. how it unfolds. But within these kinds of talks and these books and, and these kinds of things, which this is where that is exposed. And uh, then we see what happens. And then someone puts up his finger and says, yes, but what about the responsibility? That's the question that always... But, comes around. That's always the question that, that comes up first. Yeah. Because the false sense of authorship says, I am the one who is making you good. I'm, I'm responsible. Yeah. I'm the one yeah. who's making you yeah. get up and go to work even when you don't want to go yeah. to work. It's good that I'm here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Without me, you'd just be a lump laying in your bed yeah. it would do and, nothing. and you would do nothing. Yeah. That's the claim. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the real... The, the real question is, is that true? Because if it were true, we would all be saints. We'd all, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'd all act in accordance with our values. Yeah. Not, forget society's values, our own. We have things we know are wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not right to, to hurt people you love. You know, to, to, to be unkind to them and to yell at them and be impatient with them. And we are all the time. It still happens. It still yeah. happens, even though we know it's wrong. So how is it that we do this if we are in control? If this, our sense of responsibility is keeping us on the straight and narrow? Yeah. So maybe this activity, what we do, is a product of something else. That's just maybe. And this is what the teaching introduces, the possibility that what motivates us, what moves us, what activates us to act as we act and do what we do yeah. is something far broader than our own egoic selves, this claiming me. Yeah, the claiming me. It's a good pointer. Um, so then it's seen. Wayne is still there, still acts the same, or? Can, can Wayne is in constant flux. Wayne is changing all the time. You can't say, oh, that's typical Wayne, or well, typically Wayne. There are certainly behaviors that over a course of time, someone would say, that was, that's typically Wayne. But actually, over the course of my life, my, there's all kinds of behaviors that have, have changed considerably, dramatically, immensely and others which have persisted. Now, some of those that have persisted this long can change tomorrow. Yeah. So anything can happen. So you haven't designed a perfect way for yourself. I should be like this, or Wayne should be like that. Or... Blessedly <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's what society tells you. Yes. They first tell you you have to make a good person out of yourself, and then s stick with it. Yes. But it always, you feel... And, and that's why you suffer. Yeah. Because you don't have the power to do it. They tell you, you, you have to, you've been... You see, you felt like you had the power since two and a half. When this happens at two and a half, what happens is the, the, the body, the organism, feels, I'm powerful. I can, I can make things happen. I can do it. I can do it. And then it picks out. You say, okay, I'm going to cry and make my mommy come. Come here. 
It works. And I cry, and my mommy comes. And you say, oh, look what I did. I am so powerful. You see, I, am, I can control things. Then you cry, and your mommy doesn't come. And suddenly, the universe is out of order. You see? Now, up till age two and a half, you would cry, your mommy would come, you're happy. You cry, your mommy didn't come, you're sad. After two and a half, when you feel this, that I'm doing it, that I, this authoring me is doing it, then when she doesn't come, suddenly, not only don't I like this, but it shouldn't be. Yeah. Now, suffering sets in because the universe is out of order. It shouldn't be this way. It should be as I make it, not as it is. And this distance between as it is and how it should be is suffering. Mm -hmm. And mommy doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last question. Um, you talk about children. This is something we all have to go through or apparently? So far, yeah. so far it yeah. is a human characteristic that happens regardless of culture, regardless of race, regardless of where on the planet you're born, at two and a half develops this. Is that so? If you would raise a child, let's say for example... Forget jungle, if. I have no idea oh, okay. about ifs. Yeah. I'm just saying... We, we, we talked about it before. So I have a child, I go to the jungle and, and, and raise it all naturally. It's still, yeah, you don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, try it. Find out. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> try well, it and find out. But so far, yeah. in the jungles, in the deserts, yeah. in the mountaintops, yeah. in the cities, at two and a half, so far, human beings at the age of roughly two to, to three develop a, what I call the false sense of authorship. I think they are steering the wheel. Okay. But still, there are graduations because uh, children at the age of, let's say, eight, here in, in the Western world, when they don't get the toy in the toy store. And children at the age of eight in South Africa, they have joy in a junkyard. <laughs> There's, they yeah. Get yeah, but that's a, of... well, that's a difference in programming. That's not a difference in yeah. involvement by the false sense of authorship. That's just what they like and don't like, you see. It's the sense of what should or shouldn't be, how it should be or it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm is related to how I think it should be. Mm -hmm. Now, if, you, you're, if you're programmed, you, you're brought up in a junkyard, you know, in, in the poorest of the poor, there's no thought, I, I should be able to manifest my, you know, uh, a, a shiny new uh, truck, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you know. If you're here in an in a affluent family in, in Amsterdam, then you may well think, well, my friend has a shiny truck. These people all have shiny trucks. Why can't I have a shiny truck? I should be able to have a shiny truck. The same mechanism still. Same mechanism. But it's not thought, you say. No. It's something it's that... It's the arrives. claiming. It's the claiming of how it should be, how I should be able to make it happen. But it isn't, isn't it seen by the child, the way the parents act? Or isn't it something that is... Oh, it's constantly reinforced by the parents, by the society. Yeah. Everything says... You, your school, your, your church, everything says you should be this way. Mm -hmm. You must be good. You must act this way. You must be, control yourself, and you have the power to do that. Yeah, you should visualize. <laughs> Whatever. You should fill in the blank. And that ties in to the false sense of authorship. It, it feeds it. You know, it reinforces it. But it's already there. Yeah. And it's very rare that a crack forms in which this loosens, loosens yeah. and the possibility comes into being of an, another way of seeing. So we don't have to blame society, the way our parents, the way we're raised at school, or could we say it's all part of the, the mystery that brings us up? Blame away, whatever you know, <laughs> whatever nice whatever blame. floats your boat. But it's nice the, to blame the, someone. Yeah, uh, I, I guess you know. But the the true understanding lies far deeper. 
And what makes the parents do what the parents do? What makes a society do what it does? The same thing that makes you do what you do. There's something animating the whole process. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what this teaching is pointing at. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to see that the way you were, were born into this world, you didn't have to do anything to choose if you were a boy or a girl or if you had five fingers or blue eyes or whatever. It just and then from the moment that, I don't know how you call it in English, but... You cut, the, cut the umbil umbilical yeah. cord, yes. Yeah, okay, I take over from here. It's, uh, or a couple of these, uh, yeah. thank you very much. That's, <laughs> that's absolutely correct. Suddenly, you are now the master of the universe. <laughs> yeah. With no recognition whatsoever that you have been gi of all that you're, you're given, yeah. constantly. Yeah, you get Starting with your breath. Yeah. With you are given you your breath. Yeah. You, you don't, you're not responsible for it, mm -hmm. you don't make it happen, even when you forget to breathe, you breathe, and it, you, the breath is what yeah. enables everything else, it enables you to be. Yeah. The same. And still they say, I am breathing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Roger. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay.